And another point, it's the middle of the day. Where's your shade? We have none. Well, where, where are the cows? <laughs> They're out here grazing, right? <laughs> yes. And that is certainly what we have found, no matter where we've gone, that cattle that slick off better from winter to summer are cattle that are going to be much more readily adaptable to their, to their climate, to their region. Well, we have shade in a lot of our paddocks, and we have noticed that, except on maybe the, the very worst of days, um, many times we'll come out in the afternoon, the cattle will be out grazing, or we'll often come out in the middle of the afternoon, open up a new paddock for them, and they're happy to go out and graze, and they lie just, just lie down. After they do, they'll lie down and chew cut out in the middle of the pasture. They don't, they don't seek the shade like, like a lot of cattle do. Yeah. Um, not that they won't use it when it's available, um, but it's, it's, it, we're not dependent on it. So it becomes much less of an issue, even though you're located down here in the south, and heat and humidity are, are absolutely going to be a problem. Yes. But there are some other factors that are contributing too, and, and I noticed even your, even your dog taking advantage of it this morning. <laughs> so the other factors, though, that are contributing to the comfort of these cattle is the fact that you're leaving a lot of dense, thick sward here, and you're protecting soil moisture and soil temperature. Correct. Right? So as we, for instance, if we reach down through this sward, you know, and, and put our fingers to the soil here, you know, what are we feeling? It's quite cool. It's quite cool and moist. And damp, yes. And yet you've been in a drought, right? We've had, we've had some, some very what, minor rains, uh, very, yeah. uh, in the last week, which has been amazing. But prior to that, we were dust dry. And, and yet we've got cool, moist soil. Yes. And this is, this is actually very, very comfortable. And like I said, I noticed your dog lying in yeah, this. Yeah, going to get down in it. Exactly. And so we get the same impact. So your dog instinctively knows to do that, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't lay right here on the gravel lane. No. Yeah, he avoided that. He went out in here and laid in the thick, lush grass because he knew that was going to be much cooler. Right. And of course, when he put a lot of his body surface in contact with that, it's sort of like the radiator effect, right? Mm -hmm. And it cools him down quite a bit more. So it's really the same it's impact. The same thing for the cattle. Exactly. So, versus pastures that are cropped down really tight, uh, uh, what we have found, and we've measured temperature over and over and over again in, in these pastures. And, and it doesn't matter whether we're in Minnesota or Wisconsin or Saskatchewan or we're down in Texas or we're here in Missouri. In the summertime, when you have ambient temperatures of 85 and up and you've allowed the cattle to graze down too tight on these pastures, mm -hmm. often what we find is that these soil temperatures can be 130 degrees or more. Wow. And, and the reason that's important is because as we maintain our soil temperature below 90 degrees, we're protecting soil moisture and we're protecting our microbial population and our plants perform a lot better. So it makes a profound importance. Yeah. And as these cattle, you know, they're sort of in their bare feet, right? Mm -hmm. So as their hooves are touching this cool, moist soil, even though it's hot, then that's creating a cooling effect through their bodies. And then here in about an hour, after they fill their bellies, what are they gonna do? They're gonna lie down. They're gonna lay down and start to chew their cud. So now they're putting a lot more of their body surface in contact with that cool, moist soil. Mm -hmm. And so, they don't need the shade. Uh, they're staying cool. And if we think about it from, a, from an ecological, historical standpoint, you know, this part of the country and further west historically had far, far fewer trees mm -hmm. and was, was plains, you know, grasslands. So how did the bison and the elk and all of that keep cool the exact same way? Yeah. Exactly. They knew that the tall, dense swords maintained that moisture and that coolness, and it would protect them. Makes you wonder how hot some of these soils are where the, where the ground is completely grazed off, and it's the 110 degree heat indexes that we've had in the last couple of weeks.
it's more than 150 degrees. Yeah, be very hot. Be very hot, and even think about our comfort. So if, if we were standing on that 150 degree plus soil. Yeah, be radiating up, radiating up. Right, we could not stay there very long, right? We would be extremely uncomfortable. So yeah. why, why do we expect our cattle to be comfortable out in pastures that are grubbed down tight in the summertime? They're not. That's why they are trying to get in ponds mm -hmm. or they're climbing in water troughs or they are seeking deep shade. And in this part of the country where you can have a lot of endophyte infected fescue, mm -hmm. and the fescue is also creating an increased body temperature mm -hmm. from the blood vessel constriction, right. then that exasperates that situation a lot more, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And again, it's, it's going on into late afternoon now, 4.30. So we're at the hottest part of the day. They're far more interested in grazing the paddock than they are hunting shade. 